What's the matter? Can't you sleep? No. Every time I close my eyes, all I can see is Andy. All alone in a 10 by 10 cell. Scared. She's locked up. Manzo's out. He's free as a bird. He's out celebrating her conviction. Oh, I wish you could have seen Manzo and RJ just sipping champagne. I've already got her appeal in the works, honey. How did it ever get this far? Dirty cops on my watch. I know how you feel. Andy trusted me with her defense, and she got 20 years. But self-pity is not going to help either one of us right now. What we need to do is nail the real villain, Nick Manzo. Hmm? But not tonight. It's late, and we're both burned out. Okay, come to bed. And I promise you. It's going to look a lot more fixable in the morning. Hmm? I want it fixable right now. Because I'm not going to sleep until I figure out a way. Hey, Andy. Antonio? God, am I dreaming? I wish you were. If I am, I don't want to get up. I can't believe they let you in here to see me. Well, you know me. Me and my great connections. I got a special invitation. Engraved in steel. Todd will love this food. He always gets so hungry when he gets off a plane, especially airport food. He hates it. <laughs> well, it's very thoughtful of you to have gotten all of this. But, um, right. honey, right. um, uh, this man who says that, uh, he saw Todd on the flight from Ireland. Not just saw Todd. He sat next to Todd. He saw him. <laughs> well, what, what if he was mistaken? Blair, you, you could be putting a, a lot of faith in the word of a stranger. Cassie, what alternative do I have here? I mean, come on. An Irish cop says that he saw Todd's wallet on the shore and he just assumed that my husband was swept out to the sea. I mean, you've lost your person. Or it doesn't mean that he's... Go! That's him. He probably... He probably lost his keys when he lost his wallet. Todd, I... Andrew. I'm sorry, Blair. You thought I was Todd. I'm so sorry. Sorry, come on in. He's probably going to be here in... I'll be here any minute. It's just, just wait. We'll just wait in here for him. Thanks. Blair. Blair, I need you to listen to me now, and I need you to be very strong. Very strong for the baby. Todd isn't coming back. You don't know that. There's no information, Blair. There was an eyewitness, an eyewitness at Innishcrag, someone who saw, who saw Todd die. I think this town was getting out of here. Margaret Saybrook, my guardian angel. It's true the devil are you when you're at home. Express people left to go gate. Yeah, no, it's late. I should have called. Something wrong? Yeah. 
can, can we talk inside? Listen, if it's a problem, I can come back. And... No, no, I want to I know what's wrong. Um, can you do me a favor first, though? This got real muddy. And down in my car, there's a rag. Can you just wipe it off a bit before sure. I bring it inside? And I'll go on in. Okay. Thank you. Anyway. Oh, well, you know, most of the stuff is for Paloma. Um, you put it here. But there's something in there for you. That I can wait. Tell me what's wrong. Andy was convicted tonight. What? And I thought that since you were nice enough to post bail, that you'd like to know. Mm. She got 20 years, Marty. Oh, my God. She didn't do anything. Yeah, Is she in custody now? Yeah. I mean, Nora's gonna try to appeal. It's just that... I don't know, Marty. I just feel like it's a no-win situation. No, 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 no. Wait a second. You're the one person who does not believe in no-win situations. You're not gonna stop hoping now. It's too much a part of who you are and everything you're about. Well, I'll tell you something. All my hope is just about shot right now. I do want to tell you, though, that I'm glad you were awake when I got here, because you've been so easy for me to talk to and everything. And I just want to tell you that I really appreciate it. But you know that. Yeah, the 5-0 didn't waste a minute once the verdict came in on you. I wanted to get good and drunk, but I didn't have time. You're asking you questions. You don't have to say anything without an attorney present. Right. You know what an attorney present means to them? I'm guilty. Besides, I want to answer their questions. I want to fill somebody in on the truth. Like they want to listen. They don't want to hear the truth from somebody like me. Look, Emilio, would you please give me a break? Man, I am way on a limb already just letting you say hello to her, okay? Look, we've been friends since we were kids, right? Five minutes. That's all. Don't get too close, okay? No body contact. Antonio, what are you gonna do? It's no sweat. You know me. I've got an advanced degree in the system. It's you I'm worried about. Now, is Nora Buchanan taking this up on appeal? Yeah, she, uh, she hinted around that Bo has some sort of plan to get Manzo. Assuming that he has a conscience, which he doesn't. Wait a minute. Don't you start giving up. You hear me? Look, you said you believe in the system. I'm serious, Harrison. You are not giving up on what you believe. You understand me? You used to think that if you worked on Manzo long enough, he would break down and confess. Yeah, but I came up empty. So right now, he's the winner. Unless. Unless what? Unless we can get to Linda Soto. She saw that Ice Dixon had a gun when Andy shot him. She saw Manzo throw the gun in the river. And she also lied when she got on the stand in front of that court. And then after she perjured herself, she skipped town. And I haven't been able to track her down. I have. I know where she skipped to. Dylan came up with some names. He talked to some friends of hers. And as we speak, she's hiding out with uh, a sister who dances in a nightclub in Philly. OK, so you tracked her down. Mm -hmm. 
What makes you think that she's going to be willing to help nail Manzo? I'm not even sure that she'll even talk to me. I know Javier threatened her. So if she would talk to me, I, I can't even guarantee that she won't end up in the river along with all the rest of the evidence in this case. Well, that's not going to happen, though. You'll think of some way to get Linda to help. Oh, what? I got it. Did you get a chance to talk to Andy after the verdict? Briefly, before they dragged her away. Told her that she couldn't have any visitors, at least for tonight, anyway. But I'm gonna go ahead and go down there and see if I can't talk to her. I've got a present for her, and maybe it'll cheer her up. Did you lose something? Uh, no, just some sheet music that I was looking to practice and, uh... Well, looks like what I was looking for isn't here anymore. Martin, I know that the news I just gave you was disheartening. It feels like to me something else wrong. What is it? Come on, don't you trust I, me? I, it's just like... I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to live with it. It's so awful. What? Todd's dead, and I killed him. Honey, what are you talking no, about? No, the Irish police are calling it a car accident. I mean, that's what they're telling Blair. She's gone berserk. She's blaming me. Todd wasn't killed in a car accident. He was shot. Trying to help someone from me. Wait a second, wait a second. Are you talking about this Patrick guy again? Yes. And if I hadn't asked... Todd to get involved in the first place. He never would have been in the line of fire. How did you find this out? What, do you, you, you keep in touch with this guy, this Patrick? No. I mean, well, yes, he, he called me today. He didn't say from where. He saw Todd shot. I might as well pull the trigger. I mean, what, what's going to happen now when Blair finds out it wasn't an accident Marty, and that Marty, it was a murder? Don't do this, okay? Don't fall into Blair's game. Look, that's what she wants, is for you to think that your hands are dirty. Aren't they? Do you know how many times I wished he were dead, and now he is because of me? Shh. What was that? No, no, you know, you haven't heard that before? That's just this old house settling in. I've, I've got, I guess I've gotten used to it. Okay, who, where did you get your information? Who was this so-called witness of yours? It was a friend of Marty's, a friend oh. in Ireland, who was at the scene. And he saw it happen? I'm afraid so. No. Uh-uh. I mean, look, that's Marty's. You're going to take Marty's word. I mean, you of all people. Andrew, you know what a liar she is? Come on. Look, I've got my own eyewitness that... that that Virgil, somebody, he called. He called right here and told me absolutely that he was sitting right beside Todd on that flight from Ireland. What is this Blair. name of his company? Yeah. Listen, if, if Todd were here, why wouldn't he have called it's you by now? Uh, and why would he be coming home in the first place? Blair, you were supposed I don't to have met him in London. And Todd taking this commercial flight? Look, he look stop it. Yeah, stop it, all right? Why are you trying to make me lose hope here? Come on, I... What is the, the name of his... It's, it's the guy's name of his company. It's a... Uh, um, uh, warp, warp something. I'm just going to call information. Yes, information, please. Uh, warp, warp speed computing. Andy, tell me you haven't lost hope. Haven't you? I've been hassled by the cops all my life. You can't give up. Okay, you got too many people depending on you. Look, it was you who made me do the right thing. I could have run. You should have run. I was wrong to talk you out of it. Look, now they've got you, too. You're only saying that because you're alone. God, I wish I, wish I was in there with you. I wish you Next were. to you, near you. Oh, I wish you were, too. I want to touch you. I want to touch you, too. Okay, I'm sorry, Antonio. Okay, I really have to break this up. I warned you, okay? Knock yourself out, Emilio. Remember, Harrison, 
don't lose hope. Linda, what do you think the customers out front are paying for? Oh, I thought Hal, the sleazy manager, was the one who made you dress like this. Don't start. I'm sick and tired of getting pinched every time I walk by him. Get over it. The guy's doing you a favor, or hadn't you noticed? He's letting you hide out here for starters, and then he gives you a job. Put this on a hanger? You know, you've got too much talent for this third-rate charo junk. Ten minutes, Lana. Thanks, Hal. Oh, and there's a guy out here who wants to see you. Says he's an agent. No kidding? Send him in. <sighs> I hope you're for real, baby. You get a lot of touchy feety types back here. <laughs> know what I'm saying? You dress like an agent. No offense. Okay, here's the deal. I'm ready to blow this pop stand and go solo. That's a smart move. Exactly. And I need someone who knows the club circuit inside out, those smaller clubs with a touch of class, you know? Save it, Lana. I know this guy. He's not looking for talent, are you? He's a cop. A cop? What the hell do you want? Mr. Aldridge, please come in. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Everyone! This, this is Virgil. Aldrich, right? That's the name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Aldrich? I got here just as soon as I could. Oh, I... and and I appreciate it so much. This right here is my family. Pleased to meet you. Where's that go-getting husband of yours? Well, I was hoping that you could tell me. <laughs> Why don't you show in the picture, sweetheart? The man that you set beside on your flight back from Ireland, right? Is this a joke? I, I mean, th there is a, a kind of resemblance, I guess. Uh, but uh, Mr. Manning didn't have a scar like that on his cheek, does he? Yes, he does. Well, then, I'm uh, <laughs> sorry, lady, but... Uh, no way is this the guy I flew back with. Most of these are, um, are Loma. But there's, there's one in here for you. If you like it. Marty, let me ask you a question. How can you trust this Patrick guy? I mean, after he tells you the story about Todd's death, did he go to the cops and tell the cops? No. Did you go to the cops? No, he said that I couldn't, that it would put him in danger if I did. Oh, come on, Marty. This guy's not being straight with you. It's obvious. Look, I know you didn't meet him. But I did, and I believe him. And so I'm trusting my instincts here. That's something you do all the time. You want to help me sort out the rest of these presents? So in other words, shut up, Dan, right? No. No. Look, I don't understand why things happen the way they do. If Paloma hadn't taken a turn for the worst, I would never have gone over to Ireland to bring me back home. But she made it through that crisis, thank God. And Todd's gone. Forever. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It's not fair. And again, when is anything in life ever fair? What's wrong? What's the matter, Counselor? Little sleepless in Landview after you screwed up Andy's defense? Gee, Antonio. Why don't you and that chip on your shoulder pull up a chair? 
Okay, fine. You can just stand there and smirk. You hit a nerve. I was in my comfy home in my comfy bed with my comfy husband. And I couldn't sleep. Because I was thinking about you and Andy. She probably isn't getting much shut-eye tonight, and I doubt you were either. I'm touched. Is there some reason why you care about what happens to me? Yeah. Because I think under all that resentment, there's a good guy in there busting to get out. Oh. Well, and you can tell this. Well, why else would you have agreed to work undercover for Bo? Because you wanted to clean up Angel Square. Because you cared about the people there. And you were getting your life back on track until you got blindsided by a cop, a dirty cop, Nick Manzo. Look, I should be embarrassed or something for all these kind words. But I still don't get why you took the time to come visit me. Because I'm going to be your lawyer, OK? And I don't care about the fee. We'll work out something. But we got a shot at this one. Because if they try and put trumped-up evidence up there, or if they try to put someone on the stand that we know is going to lie, we'll be prepared. Their case is very weak. You're missing one small detail. What? I didn't ask you to represent me, and I don't plan to. See, you hired yourself, and now you're fired. Sorry it didn't work out. You heard my sister. What are you doing here, pal? Look, I'm sorry I had to lie to get backstage. I need to talk to you. Mina, that's your cue. You're on. I don't remember. You don't have to tell this creep anything. Might as well sit down. Thank you. It's up to you. You can do this the easy way. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to hurt you, Linda. Look, if this is about that, that blonde cop, I said everything I got to say in court. Sure, but everything you said was untrue. You told two people, Antonio Vega and Nora Buchanan, that you saw that Ice Dixon was holding a gun when Officer Harrison shot him. You saw Detective Manzo throw that gun in the river so it looked like Ice was unarmed, but before you got a chance to testify to that, somebody got to you. You don't know what you're talking about. I know somebody threatened you, Linda. So I don't blame you for being scared right now. But because you lied, an innocent woman is going to Statesville prison. A good woman. And I don't think that you want to see that happen, because I've got a hunch that you're a good woman, too. Look, I already testified. I can't exactly untestify unless I want to go to Statesville myself. So what do you want from me? A whole lot. So why don't we just sit down, and I'll tell you all about it. You OK? Yeah. I think it's just all this bad news and uh, top of the jet lag. I should let you get some rest. Besides, I need to get down to the city jail before they take Andy to Statesville so I can see her. One thing, um, if you need to talk to me about Todd or about anything for that matter, you know where to find me, so don't hesitate to call. Thank you. That means a lot. One more thing. If you hear from your Irish friend, do yourself a favor and call the police, Marty. We'll see. It's just everything about this guy. I mean, if he tells you this stuff about Todd, you know, I don't know what kind of game he's playing, but I'm not going to see you sit here and just get taken advantage of like this. Sometimes you only see the good in people. All right? I know. Thank you. And if you, uh, if you get a chance to see Andy, give him my best, OK? I will. I didn't 
intend to eavesdrop, so I apologize, but uh, he's the one, right? The one you love? Let me ask you, how much have you told him exactly about what happened in Ireland? How much haven't you told me? Look, Antonio, I'm sorry if I sounded pushy. I... You don't have to have me. As long as you have a good attorney, that's fine. I'm going to represent myself. Oh, you're not that serious. Oh, God, you're serious. Look, this is my life. And I'm not going to put it in anybody's hands ever again. Well, I don't know how to argue with that. I think you're making a big mistake, but I don't know what to say. So, I just hope you remember that if you need help, you'll let me know, okay? As a matter of fact, you got a pen and paper? I need some books with more on evidence in criminal law by Kadish and Palsy. How do you know about these books? Let's just say I had a lot of extra time on my hands the last time I was in prison. I'm impressed. Hey. Remember, though, if you need a good co-counsel, my offer still stands. Good luck. I admit there's been a lot of confusion about who, <clears throat> where Todd is. Is he, is he dead or alive? Is he here? Is he in Ireland? I, sweetheart, why don't you sit down and relax for a few minutes anyway? Have you had anything to it's eat just today? Something is really, really, really wrong here, and I can feel it. It's like somebody's not telling the truth, including the Irish police. Why, why would they lie? I don't know, Cassie. But I'll tell you what, I'm not finding out here. I've got to go to Ireland. That's what I'm... I'm, I'm going to go. I've got to go to Ireland. No, you are not. No, no, Claire, you listen to me. Your blood pressure is probably going through the roof right now. You're endangering your health and the baby. My baby needs her father. Look, I have got a friend in the State Department. Why don't you let me call him? I'll get him in on the case. If he comes up with something, I will go to Ireland for it. But I'm not going to let you go. Not now. Not in your condition. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. I'm afraid. Why didn't you tell me about this? Because there's not a word of truth in it. They plastered my, my face all over the Irish countryside so I'd have nowhere to hide. Who's they? Like I said before, the special branch boys, or at least one of them, Chief Inspector Bass. I told you he's working for the men of 21, and I swear it was Bass or one of his slimy boyos put the gun to Siobhan and then tried to frame me. I loved Siobhan, you know that. Why didn't you tell me all the truth? You said Siobhan had been murdered, but you didn't say they suspected you. Because I only just now found out about it when I escaped. What about... What about this? The pictures, the police report. All planted by Bash. Don't you see? That's why I had to run. That's why I had to use your friend's passport. I couldn't ask my own friends for help because they believe what they're reading the papers to. Why are you being hunted down? Why are you so dangerous to them? Sit down. The men are 21. They know that I know too much. The sheet music that Siobhan gave me, I found out that there's a secret message on there somewhere, a code. And the message tells about it. A terrorist attack, an assassination plan. I know, no, I know it sounds fantastical. I didn't believe it myself when Gulligan told me. But now Gulligan is dead, and the men that killed him are coming after me. Why don't you let me go to the DA or the police... Oh. The former police commissioner, they're my friends. They'll help you. No, no, don't you see? 
All they'll do is call the special branch in Ireland and wham! I'll be on a plane home to Bass and he's going to kill me. I still don't understand how you escaped. You said you had Todd's passport. What good would that do? You don't look much like Todd. I pasted my own picture over his. Oh, you thought of everything, didn't you? You had his coat, his money, and a way to make his passport look like you. Margaret, I was desperate. If I hadn't left the country, I... Yeah, but you did, didn't you? And if Todd hadn't gotten killed, your plan wouldn't have worked. What are you saying to me? Do you think I wanted your friend to be killed? You might as well be accusing me of killing Siobhan. Oh, God, you are, aren't you? That's why you're looking at me like that. Margaret, I'm, I'm an innocent man. If no one else, you gotta believe me. Dylan, they let you in? Yeah, I got a friend who works at the front desk. Sometimes he helps out at the community center. So how you doing? Not so great. Well, hey, maybe this will cheer you up. See, Esperanza. It's a gift from all the crew down in Angel Square. They all signed it for you. It's a present. They believe in you, Andy. Antonio, he talked to every one of them, and he said that you're innocent and that you're a good person. And to show you that they care, they, they did this for you to, so that you wouldn't lose heart. You're the second person tonight who's told me that. It's okay. You just believe it, all right? Because it's the truth. You got a lot of people who are pulling for you out there, and they do anything for you. A lot of good friends. I told Max that I would go close up Brody's for him. He sends his love. Listen, I promise you, we'll be the first people there at Statesville on that visitor's day, okay? Max and I both. Be strong, all right? Would you at least listen to what I'm proposing? Why? There's no way I can help you, Lady Cobb. What's done is done. So she just spends 20 years hard time for something that she didn't do, right? She'll probably never have children. She'll probably never have a family. But that's the upside, really, assuming she survives. Cops in prison. They aren't too popular, Linda. But let's assume that everything will be fine for Andy. I can't say that much for her cold heart and crime, Antonio Vega. What about him? Antonio told me one time that he would rather die than go back inside. And that's exactly where he's headed right now. They picked him up tonight. They'll revoke his parole. I'm sure they'll... Uh, hang some uh, new charges on him. It's funny, isn't it? The fate of these people rests in your hands. Look, it's not like I don't got no feelings. But people watch me, like Javier. They watch everything I do. Javier. Detective Manzo, why don't you leave those guys to me? And I'm going to make sure that they never bother you again. And in return, you can do something decent, something honorable. You can do something that you'll be proud of. So what do you say?
Look, I, I should, um, I should get some sleep. You know, Are you sure you can? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm fine, everybody. I, I was running on a lot of nervous energy a while ago, but whew, I think I just, uh, ran out. But I'm gonna be all right, so why don't, why don't you all just go? I've just got to decide what to do next. And Doreen, please, just have your friend, well, as soon as you talk to him at the State Department, call me, all right? I will. Okay. Are you sure there isn't anything else we can do? No, Cassie. Just thank you for everything. Good night. Good night, honey. Love you. Love you. Please don't leave until I call my friend in Washington. Okay, I'm going to make the call in there. Okay. Somebody out here in Ireland. Anybody but Blair. She's got a rest. I'm really worried about her. So am I. Listen, uh, let's let's put this welcome home dinner for Todd away so it's not the first thing Blair sees when she wakes up in the morning. There's something more that you're not telling there. Us, isn't there? I can tell. Uh... I didn't think that Blair would really be able to handle it, but... Uh, listen, Cassie, things could be a lot, a lot worse than we even think they are. Marty has this friend over in Ireland. This friend saw Todd shot. Shot in cold blood. This friend of Marty saw it happen. What? Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to talk. Let's go in the kitchen. Todd died and then reading that terrible story in the paper. I guess I'm a little strung out, that's all. I'm sorry. No, no, don't apologize. I... You just gave me a scare, that's all. And it honestly didn't help to see you and your boyfriend nattering on like a pair of old flames. I... I... I, I need some caffeine or something. Um, you want some tea? And leave the tea making to the Irish. I'll make it the right way. You just sit down and relax, all right? I'm glad I'm here. Swan, Canelli here. Oh, thank God. I've been trying to get through, and no one's been there. No one's been picking up. Um, this is Marty Saybrook. Oh, Miss Saybrook? How strange you should call. Uh, <clears throat> the missus and myself had to close up for a bit. Listen, I can't talk. I don't have very, very long, but um, I'm calling about my American friend, Todd Manning. He seems to have disappeared, and I've heard some very upsetting rumors. Oh, well, I am, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad tidings, Miss, but what you heard was, was no rumor. That poor man went over a cliff in his car in the fog? terrible tragedy and, and, a, and a great loss, and I'm sorry for you, miss, but uh, there's something else I have to tell you. Uh, about that Patrick Thornhart? You see, the police have been crawling all over this island, so if you see him or hear from Thornhart, call your local police right away, and they make a run for it as fast as you can. We were wrong about him, yourself and myself, and your life may be in danger, because everything that man told us was a lie. 